Hello everybody, good evening and welcome to That's Football as England take on Belgium, but more importantly, Kobe Mainu, the Manchester United superstar extraordinaire, makes his full England debut. This is the Mainu show, it may be the Bellingham show as well, but exciting. Regardless of whether you're a Man United fan, it is exciting because it's another exciting young player on their way in an England shirt and uh, there's plenty of others out there. There's some that aren't playing today. This is why I think we're going to win the Euros. I just think we've got too many, too many good players for Manchester United. Um, that's my, in my humble opinion, that is my humble opinion. So deal with it. Uh, we'll get the team news. Oh, actually, the team news should be up on the screen. There's, I'll tell you what's wrong. The title should not be what is a big club. We were talking about that on the podcast today. Um, Certainly not Man City, in my opinion, but maybe that can uh, uh, resonate and reverberate around the chat if you want to. Uh, there's the England starting lineup, by the way. Pickford, Konza, Dunk, Stones, Chilwell, Mainu, Rice and Bellingham, Foden, Bowen and Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony, um, which is great. Um, uh, absolutely fantastic. So, yeah, that's really, really good. Um Looking forward to that. Um, bench is Gallagher, Watkins, Gordon, Gomez, Ramsdale, Henderson, Branthwaite, Lewis, Rashford, Madison, Trafford and Cole Palmer. Um, lovely stuff. And also the Belgium lineup is Sells, Castagnier, Debast, Vertonghen, Thiet, Tillemans, Anana, Mangala, Lukaku, Trozard and Doku. So quite a strong uh team for Belgium. I mean, look, they're still a reasonably good side, Belgium, aren't they? They've got that Bakayoko of PSV. Uh, the, they've got uh, on the bench, Bachwai still plays. Mounier still plays. Bloody hell. Appenders on the bench. Faz of, uh, not of the United stand, um, Leicester. I, don't, I think he's still at Leicester anyway. But look, this could be an interesting game for England again. I thought the Brazil game was quite interesting. This could be interesting itself. Um, yeah, let's see. Philip Sutton's been a member for two months. Big shout out for that. What do you think of the England kit? A little bit grey for me. I'd prefer it to be a little bit uh, darker. It's nice, but it's still too grey. I'll probably consider getting one for the Euros, to be fair. Although they're very expensive. They're very expensive, you know. They are. They are very expensive. All I care about is no injuries for the injured players, says Chris. Well, it's nice to have a watch along. We're looking forward to this. Uh, Average Noob says Chilwell were finished. Well, the reason Chilwell plays is because um, we haven't got anybody else. Who else would you play at left back? Luke Shaw's not fit. You know? Please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. Declan Rice, Captain. Ah, I don't like that kit. It's got a horrible bloody... Ah, oh, what's that going on under the arm? It's like B.O. Rubbish. What's that? It's a lovely kit and they put... What? What? It's like putting tomato ketchup on your bloody roast dinner. Why do people ruin things? Why do they ruin things, eh? They've designed a half-decent kit. And I've seen it up close. And under the arm, there's some stupid bloody pattern there. It's probably some sort of, you know, signal for hippos with who have... Can't, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. Don't like it. Don't like it. It's wokeism, says Jay. Look at it. It's a lovely kit. And then under the arm. What is that? Idiots. Absolute idiots. What would it take to get two, to get old T-Rex arms out of net, says Thomas. I don't know why Pickford's playing, actually. Good point. Good point. I absolutely love that football, by the way. Um, I don't tell people on the United stand that we were, they were on about it today. They were like, if you stop doing the United stand, will you still do United watch-alongs? Yeah, I was like, what are you talking about? Don't know what you're talking about. Where's all this rumours coming from that I'm not going to do the United Stand anymore? Well, it's coming from here because I like it better here. Um, I, don't, I don't know why. I just, I just, I just, I find I have more of a laugh on that football at the moment. Uh, we're up and running anyway. Um, Georgia's done it. They're going to the Euros. Congratulations to Georgia. Incredible, says Luke. You know what? I saw people saying, up oh, Georgia, and Georgia's done it. And I thought she'd got pregnant. I thought it was someone in the chat called Georgia who'd, uh, you know, up Georgia. And uh, congratulations, Georgia. Like, I thought she'd got pregnant. It's the country, Georgia. Gingy. Uh, Gingy. Um, uh, Kinky. Kink what was his name? Kinkladsey would be very happy anyway. I'm sure he, I think he was Georgian. Um, yeah. 
happy early Easter, Judah. You know what? I think this is going to be the first Easter in my life. I don't eat any chocolate. And Bowen nearly put a cross in for Tony there for him to score. Very early on. Why does England have my grand sweater under their arms? Yeah. It's, I, what? They've ruined that kit. They've ruined... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tweet it. Let's see Let's see how, how good people are on Twitter. They've ruined that England kit, definitely. Uh, what would you describe it as under their arm? Is, I tell you what, Belgium's kit's not much better. Yeah, the, the Belgium kit's fucking horrible. Absolutely horrible. I mean, what's that? It looks like it's not like someone's forgot to pack the away shorts. And they popped to West Ham and said, can we borrow yours? Yeah, that, that, that England kit's nice, but under the arm, it looks like uh, a snail has uh, had a dirty protest after uh, eating a pint of multicoloured paint, rainbow paint. It's just ruined it for me. Ruined it. Conspiracy says he likes the Belgium shirt, but he hates the shorts. It's horrible, mate. It's um, it, it really does remind me of the kits we used to wear for my school team, because we'd turn up and they'd have the, they'd have a they'd have the same colour top as us, so we'd have to change the top. It looks horrible. It's based on Tintin. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Well, at least they're doing it for a reason. Who would you take to the Euros, Tony or Watkins? Well, I prefer Watkins, to be honest. But um, here's Bellingham. Nice little bit of play. Bowen. Offside. Uh, Georgia's just qualified for the Euros, says James. Well done to Georgia. West Virginia. That's not what I'm, what I'm talking about. Uh, well done to Georgia. Well done to Georgia. Um, they've uh, beaten Greece on penalties. And uh, Wales are nil-nil with Poland and Ukraine are nil-nil with Iceland. Everyone wants Ukraine to win, don't they? Because, well, not if you're Russian, probably. Um, we won't go down that road. More importantly, Solihull Moors are playing tonight against Southend and it's nil-nil. Need a win tonight, the Moors. Up the Moors. Thanks for the super chats coming in early. Thanks everyone who's getting involved. Um, it's Battle of the Worst Kit, says Shirt. That England kit, if it was black and it didn't have multicoloured snail shit under its arm, would be really nice. Is he looked that I was just looking at the Belgian manager there. He looked tired under his eyes, didn't he? It comes to us all. Anybody got any good uh, tips for getting rid of? Uh, come on, we we're all we're all we're all that now, aren't we? We you know we're not all twenty pints and a you know brush your teeth once. Now we're we're modern men. We do look after ourselves a little bit. Like any tips for getting rid of uh, tiredness under your eyes? Sleep, that's overrated. It doesn't work. Start, bench, sell. Dzeko, Mandzukic and Giroud. I'll start Giroud, I'll bench Dzeko and I'll sell Mandzukic, Bart. I never really liked Mandzukic. Uh, Belgium on the attack here. Uh, I'll tell you what, what I will say about Maynou though. There's a lot of people saying that Maynou's overrated who aren't United fans. What I will say about Maynou is he ain't the finished article. Like, he's a really exciting player, but any United fan will tell you he can have a game where it's um, not the finished article yet. Like, he's just made a good interception there. But I remember against Villa, 
he really struggled against Douglas Luis and Jacob Ramsey. So, you know, he can't, he's not the finished article yet. You have got to be um, patient with him. Um, Mark, they must run out of material, so had to rob the rest from the Elmer the Elephant, says S. That kit is dope. You're all hating right now, says Tevin. Well, I'm glad you like it, Tevin. Cost you about 120 quid, apparently. Why is Chilwell playing, says Harry? Name me a left back better at the moment. Who's fit? I saw a really nice... I don't know why I'm singing it, Nick. I saw a really nice spring jacket on Instagram. I did it again. I saw a really nice spring jacket on Instagram and one of their selling points was worn by Southgate. I immediately dismissed it as a fashion item. Nick, you're very right to do that. Could put Joe Gomez there. A lot of people like Kevin. Uh, exotic gaming. I thought he said erotic gaming. I was going to subscribe, Joe. Um, Joe Gomez. Yeah, thank you very much for that. My granny's a better left back. He wasn't very good against Brazil, was he? He's another player that gets injured a lot. Does get injured a lot. What's a good Easter film? Always like to watch a film at Easter. What is a good Easter film? I like The Greatest Showman, actually. I think that's a good Easter film. Gladiator. I think it's because of Rome. They killed Jesus. The shit. Pontius Pilate. Or was it? No, not Pilate. He wasn't a pilot. He was a pirate, was he? Was it Pontius Pilate or Pontius Pirate? Pontius Pirate. Star Wars Trilogy, says Con. Mel Gibson, Christ movie. Oh, God, yeah, I watched that once. It's horrific. Mark, as a Liverpool fan, I think Maynou will be good, but I think Southgate has bought him in for good PR. Yeah, well, he's very clever at doing that next gen. Uh, what do you think of St. George's Cross on the back of the collar, says Philip? It's it's the wrong colour, isn't it, again? I mean, I'm not... Look, it's not keeping me up at night. Let's put it that way. Uh, Joe Gomez is walking up... Waking, uh, is well, coming on here. Early injury, John Stones. No, he's all right. Oh, no. Peter Rabbit. I'm loving that England midfield, says Shook. No, John Stones wants to come off here. I like to watch the Inbetweeners films in the summer. There's definitely summer films. The Heat is a summer film. Sexy Beast. Oh, what's this with John Stones then? Massive game for England, uh, for Arsenal, on uh, Sunday against Man City. And uh, these are the sort of injuries that are problematic because it's not it's not a collision, it's a twist. Yeah, he's coming off. Declan Rice is probably saying, are you going to be all right for the weekend? It might just be precautionary. Obviously, Carl Walker going off as well, injured. I'm loving that midfield, says uh, Shuck. It'll be fine. I think I think both Walker and Stones will both play on Sunday. I can't wait to get the Premier League back, by the way. Some cracking games coming in. It's a, it's a triple week as well. We've got uh, midweek next week, Premier League. Three games in a week. It's going to really shake up the Premier League. Lovely turn by Doku here. Lovely play by Doku there. Uh, crap cross, but he'll pick it up again. Mainu. Mainu makes the tackle, but Lukaku surely was offside. Chilwell, what's he doing? Mark, I'm crazy. I'd want wan at left-back, says Vigo. That's a terrible kick by Pitford. Tillemans! What is Pickford doing? 
What is Pickford doing there? Pickford the Pratt. Picking the ball out of his net. Picking his nose. Pratford. Oh, he's put his hand up. It's your fault again, is it? How many, how many of those are your fault then? Look at me. Oh, that's, that's like Pickford wearing glasses, look. Um, how many bloody times? How many... What? 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 What type of Pratt hits a pass like this? Across his own goal? I mean, that's just idiotic. Look at that. If you're in a budding goalkeeper, that's got to go down the line. What an idiot. What an absolute Pratt. Fucking Pratt. Stevie Wonder could have cleared that better. Pickford sympathisers will be up in arms, but I I've never rated him. I don't. I don't. But you know what? This is what happens. This is what happens when you know you know you're always going to get picked. It happens at United a lot. When there's no competition for your place, you do stupid things. And he's got no competition for place. Up in arms, surely you meant that pun, mate, says Thomas. I did. Um Indian Scouser says uh, Saudi Arabians wouldn't take Southgate as manager. Uh, that's Benny Hill, Benny Hill football marks as Wan. Where's the commitment for Girth and Turf? Are you actually going to play, bro? They just lost the final. Um, I'm on from half nine, Man United Hodge. Yeah. I, I told him this. I told him this. Have you seen an Easter, Eastern crime TV show this year? And what is your favourite? Eastern? I, no, I haven't, Harvard Edge. Obviously, it's part of the game. But with so much invested in club football, why do they still risk player health with international breaks, says Stephen Rossi? Yeah. Well, Belgium have looked the more dangerous side. Yes, we've had a little bit more possession, but they've looked the more dangerous side here. One nil down. Uh, make sure you smash a like and subscribe, by the way. Lots of you tuning in. Remember, the Euros are going to be absolutely massive. I'm thinking about doing some watch-alongs from the Goldbridge Arms, actually. You know, the lesser games, but... Uh... Stephen thinks that Stones and Walker could be out for the Arsenal game. Even the players don't play for Gareth, says Goldio. Look, I'll tell you what. Let's run an exercise here because I guarantee I'll be doing a video tomorrow slagging off Southgate. But let's just do a little exercise here. Where's the style of play? Like, mainly who's got the ball? Where's he going? He's got to be individual. Gives it into Bellingham. We're going to score. He's given a penalty. And that all came from Mainu. All comes from Mainu, that does. Penalty to England, and it's Mainu who has inspired that. He says go away. Mainu starts that as well. Look at this from Mainu. Mainu. Lovely ball by Bellingham. But it's Mainu's little adventure. Yeah, it's definitely a penalty as well. Definitely a penalty. No doubt about it. Uh, can I come to the Goldbridge Arms, Mark? Says Goldio. Oh, I might, I might, I might start selling packages for it. Uh, of course, Ivan Tony's going to take the penalty. He never misses penalties. 
He's never missed a penalty, has he? Can't help but think of clowns in army, meme Pickford, says Thomas Hopley. Can you oil me up, says Mentality Greatness. Disappointing, says Tumbleweed. Uh, CGL Palace says he can do that pass five times. He's our best goalkeeper still. And as a neutral, I always thought that Pickford was a more popular Ramsdale. Both always prone to a lapse of concentration. Maybe a good either or, by the way, says Bart. Well, yeah, well, we're in an either or because I I know what I think. Um, referee got it right, by the way. It was a penalty. Uh, they, they've got VAR here. I didn't, VAR in an international friendly. Yeah, Tony will score this. He never misses. I don't think he's ever missed a penalty. Stephen says it wasn't a penalty. He's chucking it down the rain, that's for sure. Another delay here. Oh, what, were, what are we waiting for? What are we waiting for here? Come on. What's going on? Lovely penalty. He only takes one step. He's got a great technique. Pickford out of jail for now. <coughs> it's a very good technique for Tony, that Tony takes. Um, it's all about making the goalkeeper move. Yeah, look at Southgate. He loves it. Yeah. Yes, yes. I'm going to... I'm going to stay in a job and I might still get the Man United job. I'll tell you what, Ivan. If if I get the United job, you're coming with me. Yay. Hee hee. Um, I think Pope is our best goalkeeper, but he's out, says Hamish. I, I, I prefer Ramsdale to Pickford. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Definitely. I, 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 don't, I don't rate Pickford. Uh, Everton fans will start talking about all the saves he makes, but he probably faces more shots than anybody else. Dean Henderson made a load of saves at Forest, and everyone was like, oh, what a great goalkeeper he is. The busier you are, the more saves you make. Pickford makes way more saves than Allison. Doesn't mean he's any better than him. He just plays in a team that concedes more. That penalty all came from Mainu, though. And Bellingham. But look, it was the ability... I've, met, I've, I've played the game... I've spoke about this so much. There's so few midfielders these days who take people on. And it's the anti-Pep. Pep Guardiola doesn't want anyone to take anyone on. He just wants to pass between the lanes, go backwards to go forwards. And in Kobe Mainu and Jude Bellingham to a certain extent, you've got players who, who will see the space and run into it. And once you've passed those players, like Mainu was there... The structure's gone. I used to say it when I was coaching, like, you know, all this bloody system and structure, the minute you go past your player, someone's got to come to you. And then they leave a player and they give them the ball. Um, but it doesn't happen enough. MK says, Mark, you don't know what you're talking about. Pickford's job is to make saves. Ramsdale can't even concentrate. Oh, touched the nerve there, Anna. Touched the bloody nerve there. That's all he's got. You don't know what you're talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. Pickford shit. I know exactly what I'm saying. There's Doku. He's looking lively for Belgium. Good save by Pickford there. Doku did very, very well. Pickford haters sit down. He's just made a save. It's Tony. Nice ball into Mainu. Bowen. Bellingham. Good block. You, um... Oh, let me just get rid of this person here. We've got a racist in the chat. I've just got to get rid of him. I don't know why you do a super chat about it, HS, because you know when you do a super chat and you, you know your mum's credit card you're using, really, we could file a report against you and you get a knock on the door. Um... 
Tom says, all right, Goldie, are you a fan of the James Bond films? Um, I am, but I've got to be honest, the last one just sort of ruined it for me. I can't really watch a Daniel Craig film anymore. I just think killing James Bond off was stupid. Never seen that happen in my life. Don't don't agree with it. And yes, he'll be back, but how is he back? You can't kill a James Bond off. It's not like Doctor Fucking Who. You shouldn't kill James Bond off. He should be omnipresent, whatever that means. He should stay all the time. I haven't watched a James Bond film since that, actually. Um... Nick says, nonsense, Bernardo, Kevin De Bruyne, Gundogan all took on players. Nah, they didn't, Nick. They play in a very strict system where they have to just keep passing. And I don't believe you. So you're wrong. Oh, lovely turn. I'll tell you what, Belgium is definitely up for it. They're the perennial underachievers, aren't they, Belgium, really? They um, they were always the team for the last decade that you go into a tournament and say, oh, they could win it. Never get anywhere near it. Uh, would you rate Killian Murphy as the next Bond? He's my top pick, says Connor. I think he'd be very good, yeah. I don't think he's going to get it, though. Rice, Bellingham and Maynou, first game at Euros or Riot, says Kieran. Well, this is what I mean. This is uh, this this to me is why Kobe Mainu is not a holding midfielder. He's an eight. Uh, what's your favourite Bond film, Mark? Says Russell Brown. Ooh, I do like some of the Roger Moore ones. Um, I might watch some. You know, Bond over Easter is a very good idea. Actually, I might watch some James Bond over Easter. Um, Spy who loved me, quite like that. Few tip kill, quite liked that. It was comic, really. Pickford quick off his line. Uh, conspiracy, says Cormac. Conspiracy, says Cormac. What a very generous super chat as well, Cormac. I think Gareth told Henderson to move to Ajax so there wouldn't be as much scrutiny. If he played in the Netherlands, then Saudi Arabia, same with Phillips, going to West Ham. So Henderson and Phillips confirmed for the Euro squad. Oh, yeah. I don't know whether Calvin Phillips will go now, Cormac. But I think he would have liked to have taken him. But you're right, you know, 100%. I think Southgate will have said to Henderson, if you want to go to the Euros, you need to get yourself back in um, another country that's not Saudi Arabia, that's more credible. Uh, not that Saudi Arabia is not credible, but in a footballing sense. Uh, by any chance, does Seb have Belgian in his ethnicity? Because if he's left-footed, he starts at left-back by default, says Tanishk. And uh, Mark, for 100 million, would you snog Southgate's? No. no. I was watching uh, a very good drama, actually, called George and Mary. I actually quite liked it. First episode, I wasn't sure I was going to. There's a lot of male-to-male um, -male action. And, you know, I've watched Breakback Mountain, but it, it, it just... I wouldn't say it repulses me, because that's a very horrible thing to say. But it, you know what it is to me? When I see a man on a man, it's like, it's like mushrooms on a pizza. I just don't like mushrooms on a pizza. So, but it was very, very good. But what I'm saying is, the point is, both the actors who, I think both the actors who were getting it on nearly every episode were actually not gay. So £100 million to snog a man. A lot of these actors are doing it for a lot less. A lot less. Mark, be careful. Mate, I've said it before. Like, you cannot... I had this on the United Stand. They said, why don't you talk about women's football? You never mention Mary Earps or Ella Toon. That's because I don't watch it. Like... You can have an opinion on something that you're not interested in. Bellingham. Oh, he's going to cut it back. It's going to be... 
Oh, went on the top of the bar from the defender. Mainu has got everything to be world class and rub shoulders with the elites. Just hope he stays grounded, says uh, Sam. I'd love him to be grounded full stop. You know, when he goes home, you're not allowed to go out until you've got training tomorrow. No clubs, no pubs, nothing. Um, as a United fan, Southgate losing matches is doing you a favour. We don't need him anywhere near United, says Tabib. But I understand you support England and not hating. I think England will win. A oh, goal! Bowen! Dunk! Heads the ball back across from the corner. And Bowen flips it in to make it 2-1. So England, in 26 minutes, have turned this around. Uh, dangerous territory, Marks, Aaron. It's not dangerous territory. It's not dangerous territory at all. Like, it's not dangerous territory to say that you don't like the idea of snogging another man. It's not dangerous territory. It's a personal choice. It's dangerous territory if you say men who snog men are repulsive and should be, you know, that's, that's not on. Um... I've got a lot of friends who are that way inclined. And, uh, you know, I've got, I've got no right to have a problem with it. And no one's got a right to have a problem with it. But you have got a right to say you don't want to do it. If you want to put mushrooms on your pizza, you get it in your mouth and eat. I don't want to. Thoughts on pet mind games versus internationals, says Pandem. I haven't heard about it. There's a VAR check here. There's a VAR check in an international friendly. What are we doing? Why? Why? Offside. I wasn't even looking. Offside, says Joe. He was right. I didn't see it. As offside. Um, Philip Sutton's gifted five memberships, by the way. What a legend Philip is. Massive shout out. Uh, missing Girth, the turf tonight on promotion nights is Michael Hughes. Mate, I've got a job to do. This is my, this is my livelihood. This is what I do. I can't go and, you know, I, I, I will be on if they want me at half nine. But that's Ginge and Philly's stuff. I ain't getting paid to do that, am I? I'm, I, my, I this is what I do. I'm not missing what I do to do that. Um, I enjoy doing that, but I've got I've got to do what I do first. No fruit on pizza, says Renate. Renate, as a moderator, you might be just about to get removed. Pizza on. Pineapple on pizza. Mm. I don't eat pizza anymore, though. I've given up on it. Given up on it. VAR in a friendly is ridiculous, says Jaden. Absolutely. Uh, Ramsdale's beaten Pickford in our first either or of the night, by the way. 68% uh, say yay to Ramsdale over Pickford. Uh, a night with Philip Schofield or a night with Prince Andrews is unleashed. Hey, let's not, let's not go down that road. Um... Look, I, I would say, does it really matter? It's where, as long as you don't end up in any trouble at the end of the night, just go for a couple of pints, talk about the football, and uh, there you go. Joke to have VAR in a friendly, says Daniel Lee. Good tackle by Maynou. Get your hands off him, Foden. He's having a good game. He's having a good game. Uh, Simon H says, can you let Luke know it's bedtime? Hey, up. It's the Easter holidays. Let him off. Uh, did you see the ESPN, ESPN report saying Ineos are targeting Gary O'Neill from Wolves for an undisclosed coaching role at United? Any thoughts, says Ash. Um, look, you know what? Gary O'Neill is a good coach. Um, I mean... I thought what he did at Bournemouth was very good. He's gone up a level at Wolves. I think he's a very, very good coach. 
Would I want him at Man United? Absolutely not. Not 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 as head coach. If he wants to come in as a assistant coach, yeah. Why not? But not as a not as a head coach, no. Golden Eye is the best for Bond film. P.S. Goldbridge for PM says Irish Penguin. Well, is that because you're Irish? Piers Morgan. I was doing an Irish accent the other day. Who was I doing? Um, let's see if I can go back and do it. You know, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with who you are. And I'd wish you'd stop being a cunt. Because we need to be more together as a family. And you're ruining it for all of us. Now get the guns before I shove it up your ass. That's not McGregor. It's Littlefinger. That's who it is. It's Littlefinger from um, Kin. Frank from Kin. That's who I was doing. I was sat in the I was sat in the kitchen the other day making myself some breakfast, and I was going, "We get the we get the mushrooms. Get the coffee on. Get some toast. Set ourselves up nicely for the day. Get on the morning stream." Wind them up about Rashford and get on it. I'll, I'll, I'll stop being able to do it in a minute. Here's Foden. Lovely reverse pass into Bowen. Options. Ah, greedy. Greedy, greedy. Another greedy winger. We don't need another one of those. We don't need another one of those, Jared. We don't need another greedy winger. We've got plenty of them. Um, I don't like mushrooms on pizza, but I do like mushrooms in an omelette. Can I just shock you there? I don't like mushrooms on pizza, but I love it on uh, on an omelette. You know the rules. Lord Baelish. Yeah. No, I, I can be quite good at accents, but I can't keep them. It's almost like they have a monetary value and I spend them up and then I can't do them again. If you if you saw my walking with Goldbridge videos uh, during COVID, I know it helped a lot of people out. Um, I did a brilliant... I, I used to be really good at David Attenborough. I can't do it now. Was it David Attenborough? Yeah. Yeah. I'd keep an eye on Ivan Tony as well. You know, if you're an Arsenal fan, United fan, Chelsea fan, and you're thinking about whether you want to sign him, I think he's playing exactly how you thought he would do. Have you watched The Gentleman, says Ryan? I really enjoyed it, actually. Really enjoyed it. Got And I think it's the sort of series that from, you know, sometimes there's a lot of... Si Breaking Bad didn't really get into it straight away. Slow burner. But The Gentleman, I think, from episode one, really good. Aidan Gillen, little Aidan Gillen, little finger. Irish pig, pig, penguin, thank you. Uh, Mojo's just gifted 20 memberships. He's a legend of the United Stand chat. He is one here as well now. Make sure you give him some love in the chat. What's your best impression of someone, says Cormac? Uh, I, I don't really, I, I don't really know. I don't really know. Probably Sean Dyche, but it absolutely kills my throat. So I'm not doing it. I can do Sean Dyche really easily. I just It just really hurts my throat. Chill well with the cross, headed away. But yeah, keep your eye on Tony tonight because I think that the way he plays for Brentford, I don't think some people understand what he does. He's very good in the air. He's a counter-attack striker. He likes to come and lay it off and then spin. Right, here we go. Belgium on the break. Tillemans. Weird ball. Dunk. Oh, what are you doing, Dunk? Made a bit of a mistake. Lukaku into the box. Weird cross. What a goal. What a goal. I'm not even Belgian. What a goal. Get me some chocolates, because that was sweet. That was an absolutely cracking goal. That was brilliant. You know what? We can sometimes... It's not a tournament, so it doesn't matter... That's a goal. And it's a cracking goal, that is. You've got to take your hat off. What a cross by Lukaku as well. 
that cross by Lukaku. Woo! Outside of the foot. Look at that. Oh, you, you know what? He'll love that. He gets so much criticism. But this cross is unbelievable. Look at that. Right on a plate. I mean, it's a good header by Tillemans, but... That's a good goal. That is a good goal. Nelly says, I've heard you quite good with Neil Warnock voice. I can only do one. I don't even know if it's uh, him. We're in London, aren't we? We're in London, aren't we? Uh, can you blame Dunk there, Mark? Um, nah, he slipped over. He gets up. Look, to be honest, it's not really a massive mistake by Dunk. He slips, gets up, and then Lukaku plays a brilliant cross. I, I don't think it's an honest mistake. Let's be honest, Maguire isn't getting there, says LC18. Uh, that's the best use of Romelu, Romelu's trampoline foot I've ever seen, says uh, uh, Nick P. And bring that Dunk or Maguire pole back, says Dino. Branthwaite is on the bench. Look at the future, says Joe Wright. I don't know why Branthwaite's not playing, actually. Uh, Seth says, hi, Mark. Greetings from Tampa. About to watch the Brazil game and have some charasco with a friend. Just wanted to say I'm a big fan of yours. Seth, thank you very much. You're an absolute legend. Loved him as a Barama in Pika Blinders. Go to the show. Oh, yeah, I remember he was in there. You know what my favourite favorite sauce is? Chimichurri. I love it. I think it's Argentinian. And it's really nice. That's, that's not how you make it. I used to get it at uh, this fish place. I can't remember what the fish place was called. It's shut down now. But uh, it's lovely. It's, um, it's green. But... Just having a look what's in it. Parsley, oregano, garlic, red pepper flakes, smoked paprika, white wine vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, and sea salt. I'll tell you what, I'm going to make some. I'm going to fucking make some. Not now. I should bring back cooking with Goldbridge. I've got a new kitchen, and I cook a lot more than I've ever done. I made a lovely uh, vegetarian moussaka today. Um... A lovely chicken pasta on Monday. I don't have spaghetti with uh, beef mince anymore. I have turkey mince because it's better for you. Um, I've got quite into it. But yeah, chimichurri is a lovely sauce. What was the name of that fish place? I'm saying, I, I'm, I don't know why I'm saying what it is. Fish restaurant. Think of, think UK. Think of a fish restaurant that was a bit of a chain. All I can think is Nando's. No, it wasn't Harry Ramsden's. Nah. It was a bit upmarket. I can't remember what it was called. Not Harry Ramsden. Lock fine. Well done, DN. Yeah, lock fine. That's what it was called. I think they've all shut down now. Used to, used to do some nice fish, funnily enough. Mark. Callan's asking for an unbiased opinion. Can you give us an unbiased opinion on Maynou over Elliot? No denying how talented Maynou is, but Elliot's, Elliot has proved appeared in every Liverpool game this year. 400 more minutes, eight goals and assists, says Callan. Look, to be honest with you, Callan, Kobe Maynou deserves to be get called up for England and he's a really good player. But you're right. I've been impressed with Harvey Elliott this season, especially in the last few games when you've had injuries. And um, you know what it is? I think a little bit, little bit of it is Southgate doing it for popularity. Um, you know, Maynou is the player of the moment and picking Harvey Elliott does, isn't as glamorous, is it? So, obviously, we benefit from it. But, you know, there's a shout that he should be in it. 
We need cooking with Goldberry's live. Summer barbecue, says Tom. I'll, I get drunk, mate. Whenever I do the barbecue, I'm just there. Get rid of the beer. I don't even want to eat the food by the time it's done. Jared Branthwaite should be playing not dunk, says Matthew. I'm surprised he's not, actually. Uh, Nathan Allen says, this is for the Southgate Inners. His win percentage against the top teams in th is 30%, and the games we win, we win with so many penalties, says Nathan. Well, I'm not surprised. Do you think Lukaku was overhated at United and should have signed a replacement instead of tr interesting Martial, says as ifs? He's just... Um, Lukaku is just very one-dimensional. Or, well, he's not one-dimensional. He's shown that he can, he can assist. The problem with Lukaku is... He's too inconsistent. Like he's, he's 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 limited. There's some things that he's good at, and there's some things he's bloody awful at. Do you think people are not passionate about England? National anthem was very dull, says Joe. I think some people really enjoy it, and 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 some people just find it. They just watch it for the, you know, the major tournaments. Look, this is England is there. Manchester United is there for me. It's like there's no comparison. Southgate out of coaching for good, says Brian. I still think we can win the Euros. I must be an idiot. Mainy was cooking an Anna at the Barbie tonight, says Ruben. Well, I'm sure I'm sure I'll be making some subs at half time. Oh my god, Solihull Moors are losing 2-0. Like, what's going on, lads? South end of shit. Now is not the time to stutter. Ugh, at home as well. Ukraine are losing to Iceland 1-0 in the playoff. Wales are still 0-0 with Poland. Who, would, who do you fancy to win that, Wales or Poland? Poland normally do qualify, but don't do very well. Um, just want to have a look at the bench for England. I mean, he's got options. Conor Gallagher, Ollie Watkins, Gordon... Branthwaite, Rashford. I'm sure we'll see Madison at some point as well. Palmer. Well, the trouble with VAR is that we're going to be adding... I mean, this is a bloody international friendly. Why are we going to be adding on about 10 minutes of added time here? Absolutely stupid. Absolutely stupid. Magic says, Southgate to Manchester United with an immediate effect. I need a stretch here. I can't believe no one's told me. I've had one all night. What's going on? I feel like I'm having a speed stretch now. Don't judge me, I'm on pajama bottoms. I've had a, I've had a pre-match bath, a pre-stream -pre bath. There's no, what's the point in having a bath and then putting your jeans and your pants back on? Just get your pajamas on. We're Bon Jovi then. We're halfway there to bed, aren't you? You haven't got to get undressed. Brush your teeth straight into bed. Job done. Now taken out. Please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner. Um, can you do a Harry Bain impression? Oh, I haven't done that for ages. I'm Harry Bain. I'm injured at the moment, but I'm still the greatest player in the world. It's a while since I've done this. But I can remember the basic idea. I'll be back for the Euros. The laugh will be on my mouth. As I 
lead England to glory and take the trophy. I don't know what the name is. I'm Harry Bain, check it out. I regret going to Munich, but Spurs will still win, fuck all. Um, it used to be a little bit better, I'll be honest. I, I can, I, I can, uh, I can admit. Uh, Mourinho did uh, an interview with Fabrizio Romano today and said he would open to managing at the international level. Would you take him as manager? I would. Yes, I would as well, Seb. Thank you very much for your super chat. Uh, would Bellingham play if McTominay was English, says Robert McCormack, under fucking Southgate, who knows? Um, Joe Wright says, I feel away from football, everything the government has done it to the working people. UK don't feel right anymore. People feel it's not our country, says Joe Wright. Hmm. I take you over Gareth, says Goldio. Is Bellingham. Good shot, good save. Uh, we've sunk that low. And Lee Berman says, I've been racking my brain for a while, but that stripe on the England shirt reminds me of a stagecoach bus seat. Lee, very, very right. Very, very right. I know exactly what you mean. Apparently Northern Ireland are beating Scotland 1-0. Is Foden? I tell you what, Bowen's just another greedy winger, isn't he? How many times could Bowen have fed Tony tonight? Doesn't pass. Another winger who don't pass. You've got to be fair. You can't just blame it on Rashford all the time. Would you ever buy a football club? Lower leagues, says Connor. Um, I've looked into doing it, actually. Um, could easily do it. Not not easily. And what I'm saying is it, it can be done. It's half time. Bloody hell. Hold on a minute. Oh, we added three minutes on. In the Premier League, they'd have had about 10 on. Um, it's the time to do it, though. If, if I bought a football club, I would have to... Um, and I wouldn't buy the football club. I'd you know, buy into a football club. Um, but I wouldn't be able to do all this stuff. Like, lower league are playing right now. Can you do a Harry Maguire impression? To shit? No, no, I did that once. I got in trouble. Don't we usually go into these tournaments winning all the friendlies? This could be a Southgate tactic. Pretend I'm crap, then surprise them, says Nick P. Mark, have you d done or ever thought about doing stand-up comedy? I watch a lot of comedy and comedians' podcasts, and I think you're just as funny, says Don. Um, I, I've got a tour coming out in August. Um, last, last year, I did some stand-up, not stand-up, I did some live shows with the United Stand. Uh, this year, I want to do it for That's Football. Um, so it's going to be sort of like a, a, you know, a general football thing that I'm going to try this year. Uh, more of a bucket list. If, if they sell out, they sell out. If they don't, they don't. So we're doing that. Um, I'm from Torquay. We need help, says Connor. I'm heading down to Torquay in a few weeks, actually, that area of the world. Um, never been. Did Devon a couple of years ago. Big shout out to Westwood Ho. Met some lovely people. Uh, North Devon, that is, isn't it? So I'm going to do South Dev Devon this summer just for a few days check out some places trying to think where Salcombe and all that bit posh down there you know um what else have we got here don't we done on that i'm dutch but i turned this match on because i wanted to see menu play do england always play this boring such a waste of talents oh ton right literally we scored a penalty as soon as i said it so i had to wait a moment but what I will say is it's really worth having a look at how we're playing as a team because it's shite. And we always do this. Always do it. What's this film I'm looking at here? 
What's it all about? I'd love it if it was a TV series. Civil War, it's called, in cinemas, April the 12th. Hmm. I, they've nicked my idea. I, was, I wrote a book about that 10 years ago, Civil War. Um, yeah, we're, we're, we're crap all the time, Tun. And um, there is no style of play. And it's a complete waste of time for the players that we had. Um, and also, we've had another super chat coming here from Callan, who says, imagine if Southgate picks Maynou to become more popular with United fans. Even as a Liverpool fan, I couldn't imagine United stooping to that. Well, I hope not. Um hope not, Callan. Uh, I saw a game at the local park. There's a drunk on a bench who'd pissed himself, shouting and swearing, calling everyone a C-U-N-T. I'd take him over Southgate, says Ollie P. And uh, is your Tika t Masala making video still available? Yeah, it will be. I forgot I did that. Indian Scouser. Uh, Vinny says, off topic, hypothetical, Mark. If Seb said to you that he preferred boys, would you accept him for who he is? Only cu curious. Mate. This is where people take it to completely different levels. Like, um, that's that's ridiculous. You can't have a friend or a family member or anybody that if they choose that way of life, you go, you're not my son, you're not my friend. That's ridiculous. That's, that's exactly the sort of ism that needs eradicating. You know, you can't be like that. You can make a choice that you don't want to do it. There's nothing wrong with that. But the minute you judge people for doing it, that's when it becomes a real issue. Uh, would you take Thomas Tuchel as England manager? I'd take him over Southgate, Dominic. I'd take Thomas the Tank Engine over Gareth Southgate. Where's, in our, where's our pride in our country gone, says Mohammed. Can you do an, impre an Ollie impression then, says Sheep. I, can't, I, can't, I never could do Ollie. It was always... Um, all I did with Ollie was just play on a few... Like, I can't do Ten Hag, but I can do his mannerisms. Like, Ten Hag would... I can't do Ten Hag, but this is what Ten Hag would do. If he was if he was, if he he was, was me doing this show, Ten Hag would go, England, huh? not very good. Huh? What, what, what's the style of play? Huh? What, what, what's he trying to do? Huh? What, what, why is he picking his favourites? Huh? Um, and so with Ollie, I used to do his mannerisms of adding a Y on the end of it. So he'd go... Kaliki, Kaliki, get Scotty and Rashi in. They're playing at the weekend. Yippee! Ollie, when the going gets tough, Ollie gets rough. It's not an accent. It's just a... It's a mannerism ting. Um, Portugal, France and Germany are all better than England at this point, says Sterling. Yeah, but I still think we might win it. Still do think we might win the Euros. Uh, Nathan Allen says <coughs> Nathan Allen says this is for the Southgate Inners his win percentage against the top teams is 30% I think we've read that one before Mark give me sanity I'm from Hereford and they're taking the piss in the league gives us luck to get into the playoff position and promoted to the National League says Beans on toast good luck Hereford I remember Hereford being in the normal league at some point why didn't you rate Mainu when he was breaking through? Says Partip. Oh, Partip. Part shit. You're talking nonsense. What are you even talking about? When did I not rate Mainu? This is just mythical again. It'd be some twat who's found a clip or, or used a bit of AI. When have I never not rated Mainu? Uh, George the rabbit wasn't eating shit. They are nutrients that came out of his arse and rabbits eat them. Different than shit. He was smart. Rest in peace, George. Says NC44. Thank you very much for that. Um, let me just uh, show you, I mean, stats in a, in a, in a friendly, let's have a look at what we've got. I mean, look, he's got an excuse Southgate that he can say, we've had 69% possession. We've had more shots, but you know what? That ain't real possession. We're not doing anything with that possession. It's side to side, isn't it? There's nothing going on really. Um, what I wanted to look at was the, uh, the Euro groups because England, of course, have got um, Serbia, Denmark and Slovenia. Now, I think England against Denmark could be quite an interesting game. I don't know. Serbian national football team, what do they do? Um, well, 
they haven't played a game in this international that's a bit weird Serbia didn't play a game in this international break their last game oh no they played oh no they did they did sorry they they lost 4-0 to Russia on <laughs> Thursday and then they beat Cyprus 1-0 so they don't look very good Serbia uh, Mitrevic Milenkovic Savic well, they've got some good players Milenkovic but yeah I don't think they're uh, I don't think they're going to be much of a attack I mean again they're another team aren't they that were uh, always fancied a little bit and then never did anything uh, Slovenia are playing um, against Portugal right now and they drew with Malta 2-2 two -two on Thursday so again I don't think Slovenia and Sl uh, Serbia are going to cause us any problems um Who plays for Serbia? Oblak plays for Serbia, doesn't he? No, Slovenia. Who plays for Slovenia? Anyone any good? Once again, Maynou is the best midfielder on the park, says Mandy Songwriter. Nothing phases that boy. Bowen and Bellingham are too greedy on the ball. Mm, Bowen's really greedy. Really, really greedy. Uh, Vlahovic is Slovenian and Sesko as well. Uh, we're back in 1989 was a classic line mark. Give him time. Give him time. We're back in 1989. Fellaini in the studio, says Robert McCormack. And worrying to see England struggling against Brazil and Belgium doesn't give me much hope for the Euros. Hope all is well, Mark. Thank you very much, says the Royal Mail. Uh, Mark, the legend that is Fellaini is in the Channel 4 studio. I wouldn't be surprised if he drops in a Goldbridge rant, says Nick P. He must have been aware. Matic was aware in Matic bloody comments on Ricky's posts on Instagram. How could United say they want best in class and then pick Southgate who hasn't won anything within England's golden generation, says Samuel. And uh, thank you very much for the super chats that have come in. They're really scraping the barrel, but the barrel with these Channel 4 pundits, says Leo. Uh, you know what? I, I think that I don't think that's ever going to change. I don't think it's ever going to change. I think I think football is always going to focus on ex players. It's that's just the way the, the mainstream are always going to focus on ex players, and uh, that's just the way it's going to be. I think we've just got to be comfortable with what we are. Um, I think what we provide is something that the mainstream can't provide. They are very neutral. Uh, they are very um, what's the word censored. But not censored in the way of swearing or controversial. Just like they would never sit there and say Pickford's a joke there. Like he's got to do a lot better and you've got to wonder why he's not picking. You would never get Joe Cole on Channel 4 saying, you know, Pickford there, it's another mistake for England. And that's because he's complacent because he knows he's going to get picked no matter what. Why is Ramsdale not being given a chance? He would never say that. It would stand out like, like a sore thumb. He would never say that. And that's what we can do. It's not about going Pickford to useless T-Rex arms twat. Um, you know, you could say that, but it's not really constructive. But what you can say is, why is he playing in this game? Why does he pick, Why does he get picked every bloody game? Um, and, it, and, and, it, and it happens all the time. So... Yes, I uh, I completely agree with that. Um, Southgate, you're the one. Football's coming home. Insanity. I mean, I never sang that song. Never sang that song. Never would sing that song. And uh, whoever did sing that song is an absolute twat. Gary Suitgate, welcome to the Members Club. Thank you very much. Uh, Jokovic could play for Serbia. They're that bad, says Goldio. And uh, thank you very much for that. How much you want to bet Mainu gets subbed off, says Dobby. Good. Uh, Danny, Danny Ista, what a name, says Mainu's composure is shocking for an 18-year-old. Look, I really hope that 
he does get um, subbed off because we need, uh, from a Man United point of view, we've got a game on Saturday, so I don't want him to get, you know, what's the point in him playing 100 minutes? Play 70 minutes, sub him off, bit of a break, no problem with that at all. No problem with that at all. So, uh, yeah, that's fine by me. Uh, Mainu reminds me of Carrick. Calm and intelligence as Rahul. And, uh, yeah, a lot of love coming in for Mainu. Right, we're, we should be starting the second half any minute. Uh, please do... Sub I've got something to show you, actually. Oh, pardon. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. We're only 200 subscribers away from 124,000. So please do that. But um, remember, I used to have a blue pair of Adidas Predators. I don't have them anymore. They've not been given away yet. Um, but I haven't got them anymore because I had them at the Goldbridge Arms on Monday for the recording of our podcast. So if you would like the chance to win a pair of Goldbridge's light blue, never been worn, Adidas Predators, then you can do that by listening to this week's podcast. Um, came out this morning, Goldbridge Saves Football podcast. It's out this morning. If you're interested in uh, trying to win a pair of those boots one of you will win them just scan that qr code while it's up there with uh with your camera phone he says let me always always check it yourself don't do somebody don't ask somebody to do something you wouldn't do yourself <laughs> does that work yes that's not what i was saying does that work does that work, chat? Is there something you would ask something somebody to do that you wouldn't do yourself? Does that saying work? Well, I'd ask my enemy to, you know, go and play in a lion pen. I wouldn't do it myself. Um, Wayne, they're a size... I think they're a size nine. Leeds Lewis has got school tomorrow because he's got extra revision. What, in the Easter holidays? Come on, Mark. No one needs size fours. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. What do you think of Victor? I can't pronounce his name. The sporting Lisbon striker who used to be for Co Coventry, Willie King. Where do you think he's going to go this summer? I'd take him at Man United. Gary O'Neill to United is the latest. Thoughts as LeBron. Yeah, but look who it's coming in from again. I think Mark Ogden's just obsessed with putting stories out about Ten Hag getting the sack. Scrap all international football. Robbo has been injured. Fuming, says Indian Scouser. There was always going to be some big in injuries in this international break. And, you know, whether it's Liverpool, United or anybody else, I do sympathise with them because it's a complete and utter waste of time. Mark, I thought Seb was going to be on the podcast. Goldio, it was just for the purposes of a funny Instagram clip. Apparently, his name is pronounced Guy Ocarez. What nationality is he? Guy Ocarez. Sporting Lisbon striker is Swedish. Is Lukaku. To Doku up against Gomez. Well done by Rice. Mark, you look great for a 62 year old, says LeBron. Why is Sweden so crap at football? Like they're not in the Euros, are they? Or are they? Maybe they are. Maybe I'm mixing them up with Norway. Oh, he says, how are you, Mark, in the chat? Thank you very much.
Sweden are okay side, kind of like a Nordic Switzerland, says Le Snide. Uh, and Uzi says, if you do any watch-alongs at the Goldbridge Arms, we have any guests? Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, definitely got some lined up. I mean, a lot of people are going over to uh, Germany. I've had loads of invites to go to Germany, but I just, this is what I do for you. Like, I've had good brands offer me, like, tickets for games to go and do, like, you know, little Insta stories and all that. And I'm like, I can do that anytime. I, I, I like to do what we do. I, I, I want to do it with my people. Um, who's your favourite player in the England team, says Jake? Probably Bellingham. Oh, Stokey G has just put a tweet out about me being the England job. I've uh, I've retweeted it. Uh, Mark, can I be your favourite NBA player? Says LeBron James. Of course you can. Ganacho's expected to start today for Argentina. Says Atoro. Thank you very much. Oh, let's hope he's not. You know, you do start to get a little bit worried about an injury, don't you? Lovely ball by Mainu there. Says James McAdams. Uh, corner for England here. This is where Tony can be a threat. Headed away. Chill with the shot. Wales still nil nil, says Tudors. David says, I've just turned it on the TV. Why have both teams got such shit kits? Fair point, well made. It was actually crap, says Levin. Level. Oh, stretch time. Anyone got any plans for Easter anyway? I'll tell you what my plans are. I'm unashamedly, unashamedly, like Liam Gallagher, unashamed, unashamedly, I'm watching the football on the TV. Yeah. That's, that's me. Um, well, if you look at the weekend's fixtures, look, Good Friday's fine. I like Good Friday. There's no good football on. Um, and, you know, you can have a bit of a chill, watch a few films, go and see some family, have a nice meal. Good Friday is the better day of Easter. Unless you're religious, actually, because Good Friday is actually not a good day. Easter Sunday is the better religious day. But for me, Friday's a good day to, uh, you know, do stuff because... Sunday, Easter Sunday, I've got some invites to do stuff, right? Uh, sorry, can't do it. Liverpool, Brighton at two, Man City, Arsenal at half four. You're basically taking me out of the equation for the key hours of half past one until about seven o'clock. So, yeah, that's my Sunday. But no, there's no Monday night football. Fuck off. Although there is a load of championship football on Monday. Uh, Saturday, Newcastle, West Ham at half 12. Brentford, United at 8 o'clock. Where's, where's Villa? Oh, Villa are playing at half five. There you go. Here's Tony. Good shot. Good save. Got his shot off. Doku is like Anthony. Dribble, get stuck, lose the ball, says Rahil. 
either or public speaking in front of a live theatre audience that all know you personally or you don't know anyone at all. Pros and cons to both, says Ross Magician. Yeah, I'd rather nobody know me at all. Tommy Abraham to United Thoughts, says LeBron. Hey, you know what? Might not be a bad idea. Southgate complaining about injuries shows why he wouldn't be a good club manager. He has the whole of England to pick from. He'd be screwed in the Premier League with a much smaller pool of players, says Ali. Well, I think you can become indoctrinated into um, international football, like Deschamps, Southgate, Martinez. You know, international football, when once you get used to it, it's just nothing like day-to-day, -day, three games a week, is it? Here's Bowen. Oh, he didn't shoot. He passed. And Bowen got, uh, uh, Foden got blocked. Bellingham. Nice quick feet. Cleared away. Gomez. Bowen. Bowen. Foden. Bowen. Bellingham. Bellingham. Pass. Mel Bellingham. Pass. Pass Bellingham. There we go. Chilwell. Yeah, no Monday night football because it's Premier League midweek games, of course, next week. Thanks for that. Here's Mainu. Nice ball, Foden. Gomez. Well, look, mainu has gone down injured. Why is that not a penalty ref? Mark, thoughts on a player's union for football, says Sully. They've got one, haven't they? Let's have a look on this on Mainu. I'm more worried about... I don't care about the penalty. I'm more worried about the injury now. No, I don't want to see that again. I want to see what happens to Mainu here. Mm, I don't think it was even in the box. Tom says that Mainu and Combo... Uh, Tony Combo would be good for United. Says Tom. Would you take Basuma at United? Yes, I would, Oe. Atoro says, is Fellaini actually a pundit for this game? Uh, I think he's, yeah, I think he is, yeah. Probably looking to get, he's probably looking to get a job in that now, isn't he? He's played the game. England looking to get back into this now. I mean, Foden did really well in that chance creation for Tony. Um, I was going to say that before. Do you think Madison's actually going to go to the Euros? Like, you can only take so many players. Is Madison going to go to the Euros? You've got Bellingham, Maynou, Trent, Foden, Cole Palmer. You know, do you need to take James Madison? Are you just taking too many players in that area? I never thought we'd be in a situation where Madison might not go. But Bellingham's definitely playing more advanced now. So, what a ball by Maynou. Into Foden. Eye of a needle. Sheep says, how come you've never been on the overlap debate? Don't open that can of worms, Sheep. Um, would you rather Southgate and Guitar or Glazers and Ten Hag, says Goldio? Um, it doesn't matter anymore. I'm just going to say Glazers and Ten Hag because that's the reality. There's no point. Who knows what Guitar would have been? I mean, to be fair, to Belgium, their, their plan has just been all game to counter on England. Defend well and then counter. Here's Trozard into Tillemans. He's already on a hat trick. He's going to go wide left. Here's Doku up against Gomez. Lovely play. Good block. Corner. Um, would you take Pulisic at United to Sully? Don't know what he's doing anymore. Is he, where is he now? Milan. Can't even be asked to stick the names on the England jumpers. Surely United would take Braithwaite, but doesn't get a minute versus Dunk. Shambles, says Ollie. And uh, Cormac says, Mark, random question. Have you ever tried? Have you ever, have you ever tried? Have you ever cried tears of joy or sadness after a game? Um, 
Oh, is it? Oh, Ma Matthew McFadden, moderator, says he's got almost 20 goals and assists at AC Milan this season. P Pulisic, not Matthew. Um, I would love to. Uh, what was what was the answer to the question? Um, have I cried after a game? I don't. I cried. I, I cried when England went out. Italia 90, and I was only about 10. Um, I I don't think I've ever done tears of joy. I don't think I've ever cried happy. I've, I know, you know, tears of joy. I don't think I've ever had that. I know some people can do it. I don't think I've ever. T I don't think I've ever cried tears of joy. Um, if I had, if I had, it would have been after the. Um, no, there's nothing wrong with grown men crying, Tim. But um, it would have been after the new camp. Harry says, surely you shed a tear in 1966. You're a cheeky, unfunny wanker. Joe Wright said, I cried tears of joy when I lost my virginity. That must have been nice for the person you did it with. They might have got the wrong idea. Is Doku in the box? Into, oh, lovely cross again, but no one's gambled on that. The fullback's got every right to say, I'll put it in the right area. Which is also what Joe Wright did when he cried afterwards. Alfie says, girth and turf. I don't know whether they're going to need me, mate, because last time I checked, they've got a player for every position, which I'm not a big fan of that for pro clubs anyway. But they, they don't need me. They've got 11 players. So uh, maybe I won't be on tonight. I had said I'd be on from half nine. But, you know, they've gone and, they've gone and filled it up. Fair play. Uh, they have no name for... Casper, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not reading that out. Tears of joy when Southgate leaves, says Dean Corbett. Still half an hour to go here. I think this will end up in a draw at least. At least Bowden's been better. I thought it was absolutely terrible against um, Brazil. Just couldn't get him in the game. Chilwell's been better, says Shirley. Well, he couldn't be any worse. I think we just made a sub, haven't we? Chilwell has been poor. He should not go to the area, says Golio. Step Joe Wright says it was his stepmum. There's a category for that, you know, on certain websites. You know what? I'm starting to get a bit worried about Bellingham. I think he's becoming a little bit too... You know what? I just think he might have a red card in him if he's not careful. Not tonight, but at some point. I think he gets a little bit too involved physically, if you know what I mean. Just saw him having a little bit of a shoulder barge with an Anna and... In tournament football, I've seen that before. Beckham, Rooney. Lovely play by Mainu. England miss Kane badly, says Dylan. Look at the feet by Mainu there. Richard says that's the European flair and bite in him. 
Yeah, and Shirley says, you're right, but he does get tackled a lot. I know, but I'm just very wary. The reason I mentioned Beckham and Rooney is, why did they get sent off in major tournaments? Petulance, kicking out, you know. Uh, Ethan Murray, the last time I checked, Solihull Moors were 2-0 down at half-time. Not, not, not a good result at home. Oh, good save. Bowen, very close. Yeah, still 2-0 down. It's going to be a loss. I truly thought it was only on the hub it happened, says Joe Wright. And have you seen The Alpinist on Netflix, says Udit? Nope. And how's... Oh, it's Chilwell. Main man of the match, says Cheech. I think, I think Menu has played really well. Really, really well. Uh, Kalu says we need to take Bowen off and put on Palmer for more creativity. I don't think Jared Bowen's done badly. Here's, uh, here's Tony. Nice little ball. Unlucky. I don't think he's done terribly badly, um, Bowen. But if it's a choice between Bowen and Palmer, I'd certainly take Palmer. Because uh, he's got more creativity, like you say. Bowen's, Bowen reminds me a little bit of Rashford in the sense that he... Uh, he don't pass. The boy don't pass. Does he scrub up? He never scrubs up. Does he clean up? No, he never cleans up. Da 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 da. He does nothing. The boy does nothing. I get this is our second string team against two of the hardest opp oppositions, but what a waste of talent. Crap defending, poor set pieces, says Unai Emery. Uh, no shirt names is for Alzheimer's Society, says Matt. There you go. Here's Foden. Good tackle. Good cross. Back post. Menu! Oh, what a save. That was the moment. I thought that was going to be the moment. They're knocking on the door. Foden wants a penalty. It won't work, mate. There's only one of you flying around. You need your, you need your teammates. VAR check for a penalty. Oh, no. Maybe not. Don't th I don't think that was a penalty on Foden, really. I thought they got the ball. Mainu's chance was very close, though. Oh, look at that by Doku. I think Gomez might get booked there. Yeah. Should have player ratings for England games, is Ben Reynolds. England apps have absolutely no chance of winning the Euros, says Paul. We'll be lucky to get out of the group stages. Southgate is simply not good enough. No, it's definitely not a penalty. He clearly gets the ball. This was the chance for Mainu, though. I thought this was going to go in. It's a good save by the keeper with his foot. 
That would have been... What a moment that would have been. And it would have been in. Look at that. It's so close. Maybe Castanier might have covered it. I'm just uh, having a quick look here. Um, so, at the weekend, England lost to Brazil. 1-0. And... He didn't use Cole Palmer in that game. And he didn't use Branthwaite. Uh, Georgia qualified as well for the Euros. It's still nil-nil, I think, between Wales and Poland. And it's 1-1 between Ukraine and Iceland in the other two playoffs. Rice playing another 90 minutes as well, says Charlie. Oh, well, well, look, you're, you're in a title race. I'm, I'm thinking about United and, you know, I think Maynou's done enough for me now. Does he need to be on the pitch forever? I mean, surely... We're at a point now where he can come off. Mounier coming on for his 972nd cap for Belgium. CD22 says, why is he not making any subs? The defence of the England squad is a worry and is baffling that there is no Ward Prowse in this team, says Mohamed. Oh, no, yeah. Is it okay to say Bellingham has been pants today, says Mario Franco? Uh, please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner. Chilwell's just been done on toast again. Uh, Belgium are about to make another two subs here, here. England. Have we actually made a sub? Apart from the Gomez one, which was enforced. I can't even see. James says, why are England always the better team when we lose? Well, the same thing happened when we were 2-0 down to Germany, isn't it? He tends to he tends to uh, go for it more, doesn't he? Uh, uh, um, apparently, we we're in a shock move for Gary O'Neill. Is there a Premier League manager we haven't been linked to? Says Dari. And hello, Mark. Would you ever consider starting a mentorship programme for aspiring YouTubers? You inspire a lot of people, myself included, says Arijan. Well, I'd like to. I'd like to. I, you know, I'd like to do something like that, yeah. Uh, I've tried it a few times and uh, it never th seems to go that well when we do it for the United stand. But um, it ends up with a, you know, it doesn't go well, does it? But at least they've made careers out of it. Um, let Branthwaite play a few minutes. The work rate of him is so good. We need someone like him right now, says Toby. I, I'd certainly, I expected him to start. You know, from a Man United point of view, I wouldn't have minded Branthwaite coming to, uh, Madison's coming on. Uh, I wouldn't have minded him coming to Manchester United and I was a bit worried that he might start tonight and then do well. But obviously, he's not started and he's not even on the pitch yet. So, Who is that? for Belgium Luke Bacchio number 14 looks uh, very lively maybe 
because he's just come on. But Slovenia are leading Portugal. Yeah, Portugal have made a lot of changes, haven't they? But you know, even so. Albin says, up the volume a little bit. Up your own volume, mate. I'm not changing my volume. I'm bored of these conversations. Uh, why isn't Palmer coming on? I don't get it. I don't know, mate. He's not played at all. Would you take an honour at Man United? Um, He's all right. I just think he might be a little bit too tall for what I like in a midfielder. I mean, he's bloody massive. Well done, Bellingham. He's lost it there. Doku up against Mainu. Level says Bellingham's too selfish. Well, I think he's meant to be the focal point of the team, isn't he? So... You can probably forgive that. Oh, Rice does quite well. Offside. I, I don't watch West Ham enough to know if Jared Bowen's like this a lot, but he's he's not dissimilar to Rashford in the sense that he's a he's a striker on the wing, isn't he? He, he doesn't look to be creative. Uh, Madison for Mainu. <laughs> Great performance by Mainu. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, he played absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Really happy with that. And at least he's off from a Man United point of view. No, I'm not being biased at all. I think he's had a good game, you know. Declan Rice has had a good game. Um, I think Tony's done reasonably well up front. Foden's been a lot better in this game. Nice to see him actually playing like he does for City. Um, and I think Maynou's played well as well. You know, may maybe Bellingham and Bowen haven't had their best games, to be honest. Empty says, Belgium aren't crap either. The defence ain't great, but the attack has some great pacey wingers. I'll tell you what, it's been I've quite enjoyed watching Belgium tonight because when we start doing the Euros in in in, in a couple of months' time, you know, sometimes you go into it and you 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 don't really know a lot about certain teams. And uh, you know, Belgium's group is Slovakia, Romania, and I think they get Ukraine or Iceland in there as well. So they'd expect to come out of that group. Um I mean, Wales, if they can beat Poland, they go into a difficult group. Netherlands, Austria and France. I mean, Austria have done very, very well under Ranjit. That's a, I think Group D could be the group of death. Uh, Georgia are going to be in with Turkey, Portugal and Czech Republic. Yeah, I think Group D will be the group of death. Austria, Austria are very good. Netherlands, France and then Poland or, or, or Wales. Good to see Italy back in a major tournament as well. I didn't like the World Cup with them not in it. Spain, Italy, of course, that'll be a good game. But it depends. Yeah, it depends when they play each other. I I'm looking forward to the Euros. I'm looking forward to the Euros. I, I love. I do look. I, I. I. I don't like international football out during the season, but as soon as the World Cup or the Euros come along, I'll be. Uh, I'll be in that bubble. Definitely. Is Group A the group of death? Germany look like they might be coming good at the right time. I mean, they've, they've got quite a good team. 
Tracy says, start bench cell, Scaramanga, odd job or Jaws? Well, I'll start Jaws. I think he was always my favourite baddie. Um, probably bench odd job and sell Scaramanga. Who do you think will be the dark horse in the Euros, says Doogie. I'd love it to be someone like Austria. I'd love it to be Ranić and Austria. Uh, and maybe they could be. Maybe they could be. Um... Watkins and Gordon are coming on now. We should call it a Spurs derby. Vertonghen versus Madison to face former teams, says Christopher Campbell. Thanks for the super chats tonight, by the way. And thanks to everyone who's been tuning in. 17,000 of you legends. Don't forget, Premier League's back from now on. Loads more watch-alongs to come. And the Champions League. It's going to be an amazing couple of months as we come towards the end of the season i'm very excited about those champions league games the premier league title race the relegation race and the euros after that we've got what basically three four months of important football to come and we'll have you covered on here can't wait for it make sure you subscribe bottom right hand corner Can England find an equaliser here in the last 12 minutes? Good play by Bowen. He's done well there. He does pass it into Foden. Oh, he'd fancy him to score from there and he didn't. Puts it wide. It's actually a good play by Bowen. One of the few times he's actually passed it. I'd have, th I'd have thought he'd score there from Foden. Really would. Uh, Bowen's coming off, which means it'll be Gordon coming on. And is it Tony coming off for Watkins? Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, I think I need to go to the fucking doctors. My fingers still haven't healed. Any news on the Maguire injury, says Tony? Uh, we're still waiting to hear, actually. I think it's... Um... Man United can keep things quite close to their chest, but uh, I know he's had the scan, but we don't know what the result is. Well, two losses in a row for Southgate ain't a good look, is it? And people who say, well, it's only, it's only a friendly and he's got players missing... Uh, that's, that doesn't really wash. You know, I've, I've watched Ten Hag this season have loads of shit because we haven't been playing well and we've had the worst injury record I've ever known and that's not an excuse. So why is it an excuse for Southgate? If you've got a philosophy, you've got a philosophy. What I mean by that is Jurgen Klopp, if he's got his whole first 11 out, will still play the same football and you'll see it because he's got a philosophy. Southgate doesn't have a philosophy. It's as simple as that. Uh, England brings some good high press, but like in the Brazil game, they look vulnerable on the counter. Love from Belgium, says Little U. Uh, another three subs being made here by Belgium. Some familiar names and faces there as well. I think Appenda, Faze and Batshuayi coming on there. Uh, Juan says, has a player from the Championship ever represented England? Well... Yes and no. One really does jump to mind for me 
was in the Italia 90 World Cup, a striker called Steve Bull was in the England squad. Uh, the story of Steve Bill, Bull could almost be a footballing story. It is a footballing story made in, and it should be made into a film. He never played in the top level. Never played top level football. He was played for Wolves in the Championship or what was called Division 2. And he used to get picked up for England and he would score shitloads of goals but he never played at the highest level. I mean, it would never happen now. The Steve Bull story is just incredible. He was part of the England Italia 90 squad, but never played in the, the highest level. Always stayed at Wolves. Um, 13 caps for England, four goals. Um, 474 games for Wolverhampton Wanderers between 1986 and 1999. 250 goals. But never played at the top level. Mark, make a tier list ranking every United kit. The day I do that is the day I'll quit. If that's the content we need to pull out, you know, what's what's next? Overrated United team ever? United's biggest flops? I mean, I'm just giving content for the new breed here. Um, there will be others. There will be other players that have played outside. Ukraine have scored. They are leading 2-1 against Iceland. Uh, Stuart Pearce did it as well. I think he got relegated with Forrest in the Premier League. They played in Division 1. He was still getting picked for England. There's probably a few that have done that. Is Maynou going to the Euros? Is Atty? Well, we can do a poll on that. Solly or Moors are losing 3-0. Season's collapsing at the wrong time. Well, will Madison go to the Euros first? I think that's a more divisive one. I'm not sure whether Madison will. I mean, if he takes Madison instead of Cole Palmer. Look at this from Doku. What a dribble. Not going anywhere. 84 minutes. Closing down by Watkins. Well, Brazil at Wembley, Belgium at Wembley, two losses at Wembley. Even Southgate outers, we might not have predicted that. It's not been uh, great preparation for Southgate. I suppose he can hide behind the fact that he hasn't got Harry Kane, but... Bloody hell. There's another new podcast coming. I can't believe how many people are doing podcasts in the football space at the moment. Please do check our podcast out, by the way. Goldbridge Saves Football. Um, Southgate is terrible, says Level Earth. And Mark, make a tier list ranking every United kit. I've done that one from the throne. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we've still got four minutes to go here. Please do subscribe, by the way, bottom right-hand corner. Get involved with That's Football. Our next watch-along, I can't even remember what I've said the next watch-along is. I would have wrote it down myself somewhere. Gomez with the cross. Slip. No. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do the 3 o'clock games on Saturday. That's what I'm going to do. 
going to do the three o'clocks. So I'm obviously doing United against Brentford at eight o'clock on uh, Saturday night. Um, but on Saturday afternoon, I'm going to do the three o'clock. So Chelsea, Burnley, uh, Spurs, Luton. Um, yeah, we'll do the three o'clocks, I think, on Saturday afternoon. And of course, Sunday, it's a double header. Brighton, Liverpool and... Uh, Man City, Arsenal. What a massive game that is. What a massive game that is. All I can hear is Jose Mourinho sung to Ave Maria. I've played the game, Jackie. Kieran says, It's so sad to see this amount of talent being used in such a boring, one-dimensional football. You can visibly see it, though. It's just good players trying to make things happen. Here's Foden. Bellingham. Good block. I remember you saying you're having a break from FIFA. To spice it up, you could change the injury frequency to make it a bit more challenging where you may have to play your youth more often. Mate, that was one of my problems I already had, Louis. And anyway, can I give you a bit of an exclusive? My FIFA career mode's back tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So that was well-timed. Um, it's back tomorrow at 3 o'clock. But uh, that was one of the big problems I had. At the end of last season, Rashford was out for three months. Bruno was out for three months. Luke Shaw was out for three months. It was like real life. Yeah, Mark Goldbridge's channel tomorrow, three o'clock. It's back. Doing all that pro club stuff at the weekends just got me back into it. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, 89th minute here. Yeah, but Louis, that wasn't my problem. I had loads of them. Please do check out our pop. Oh, okay, it's disappeared, knobhead. I feel all right, twat now. Exposed. Three, two, one. Pause. There we go. Uh, don't forget to listen to the podcast, Goldbridge Saves Football, out every Mon every Tuesday morning and Thursday afternoon. Uh, previewing the weekend on the Thursday, general podcast on a Tuesday morning. Scan that QR code with your camera phone. It will take you where it is. Uh, give us a follow and a listen. Really good episode today talking about the Hall of Fame shame um, and the integrity of the Premier League title race. A little bit about England as well. Uh, Pratt of the Week and all that jazz. Um, but more importantly, we're giving away a pair of Predators. Light blue Predators. So Man City fans, get yourself on there. Uh, it's um, That's how you win it. So check it out. Thanks, everyone. Support the podcast. Something to listen to when you're going to sleep at night or driving or walking. Uh, four minutes added on here. I'll be very glad when this international break is over. And I'm, I, I, think, I think the nation joins me in that. I mean, it's hilarious, really. Southgate gets linked to the England job. And loses, sorry, Southgate gets linked with the Man United job and completely shows why he shouldn't get the Man United job. You know, he was probably thinking, ooh, Belgium, ow, ow, what's wrong with me here? Ooh, why didn't he pass there? Oh, what a miss. What a miss by the number 14. Doc who played him in. Get the Premier League back, says Reflex. It's Louis, says thank you. Is missing the Man United Burnley games. No, Burnley aren't the team in... Who's the team in the AFC 24? It's not Burnley. There is a team this year that's like Burnley. I can't remember who it is. Let me have a look at the Premier League title. Let me have a look at the Premier League race. 
there's a team that's the new Burnley this year, and I can't remember who it is because I haven't played for a while. Um, it might be Bournemouth. I think it's Bournemouth, isn't it? I think Bournemouth are the new Burnley this year. Yeah, Bournemouth, that's what everyone's saying. Is Foden the player we thought Rashford would be, says Andre? Nah, they're very different types of players. Only two minutes to go for England to get an equaliser. A lot of red seats now. Nice ball by Madison. Lovely layoff. Gordon. Gomez, little dinky cross. It's a good one. No, it's not. Here's Bellingham. Blocks for a corner. Belgium have defended well. Ukraine have qualified for the Euros, says Ansh. Well done, Ukraine. Iceland won't be going to another Euros. I remember that. That was Roy Hodgson, wasn't it? Yeah, 2 1 Iceland. 2 1 to Ukraine against Iceland. Wales and Poland, 0 0. Absolutely. Flat that game. Uh, Sixty-one percent of you say that uh, will Madison go to the pol uh, the Euros. Let's do one for Maynu. Will Maynu go to the Euros? Yeah, that is a foul by Madison. I do worry about England, but I still think we can win the Euros. But I do worry about us because I just think when it when it when it becomes a mental game, we're we're just not that good. We just don't have it. Man of the match for me, Cameron, I would say Mainu, probably. Um I'm trying to think of anybody else. Declan Rice has played well as captain. Um I mean, the defence really hasn't had a lot to do. But no, I think I'd give it to Manu or, or Rice. Bowen? I mean, bloody Bowen. He's so greedy. He got better in the second half, but he doesn't pass enough. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about England's man of the match. Belgium's man of the match has probably got to be Tillemans with two goals. England playing head tennis here. Watkins does well to keep it in. Madison, edge of the box. Bellingham, 2-2. Two -two. There we go. England equalise with the last kick. And Southgate looks happy. Big moment for Bellingham. He's loving it. And you've got to give Ollie Watkins a shout out here because he fights to keep this alive. I mean, I think the defender thinks it's going to go out and it's Watkins who fights to keep it in. Lovely ball by Madison and Bellingham, lovely finish. It's a good goal. It's a lovely ball by Madison, actually. And it's calm by Bellingham. I mean, it's, yeah, through a lot of traffic. 2-2. Two, two. That's probably going to be the last kick of the game. And it is. Well, it's a draw for England. I mean, flatters are deceived, don't we? But cometh the hour, cometh the man, says Max City. Uh, fair play to Ollie Watkins and Madison. I thought they did really well on that goal, by the way. Um, and Bellingham did really well to finish it. But 2-2 uh, two -two draw. I mean, it's only a friendly at the end of the day. It's not. An, it's not. It's not points, is it? It's not. It's not the euros. Um, Munier and Bellingham, Dortmund, of course. Yeah. Well, look. I still think England have got a good chance in the euros. I really do, but um, they're going to have to do a lot, lot better, aren't they? But I still think they've got a good chance. Anyway, look, thanks everyone for tuning in. Love the channel, Mark, says Alex. I've really enjoyed it spending it with you. And if you love watching this sort of shit, get involved at the weekend. We've got loads of watch-alongs going on then. Big, massive games in the Premier League. It's back. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, take care, everyone. I'll speak to you all in a bit.